All right, Verizon just announced four new consumer unlimited plans, and it finally feels like Verizon is catching up to the rest of the industry. With the move to 5G and truly unlimited priority data we saw a wave of the wireless industry last year, it just felt like Verizon wasn't keeping up. But now they're finally back in the game with these new unlimited plans, 5G Start, 5G Play More, 5G Do More, and 5G Get More. These are all clear successors to Verizon's 2019 postpaid lineup, but they finally include the features we've been waiting for. Their base level plan, 5G Start, is the direct successor to Start Unlimited, and just like Start Unlimited, it's garbage. 5G Start is painfully and noticeably worse than their mid and top tier stuff in every way imaginable, and it's $70 a month, which is outrageously and absurdly expensive. Because I couldn't recommend this plan to anyone, we're gonna move on to the good stuff and focus on that cream of the crop, starting with their mid-tier plans, 5G Play More and 5G Do More. These are the direct successors to Play More and Do More Unlimited, and with it you get some pretty good upgrades. First off, you get double the priority data to 50 gigs of priority data, which is a pretty good amount of priority data, and it should be more than most people need, which is great, allowing people to get faster speeds on the Verizon network. You also get access to both Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband and 5G Nationwide networks, as opposed to only 5G nationwide on 5G start, as well as 25 gigs of high-speed mobile hotspot data, which is very nice and will allow you to connect your devices on the go. And as another perk included with this, you also get a 50% discount on Verizon's home internet plans. However, these plans do both cost the same price, $80 a month with auto pay, and there are some differences between them. 5G Play More includes Disney Bundle with Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus, as well as your choice of mobile gaming service. This is a plan geared towards someone who streams a lot of content and might benefit from getting these included instead of paying for them separately. On the other hand, 5G Do More gives you less in the way of streaming and winding back, more about getting work done. You get a free one-day travel pass included so you can use your existing plan when you travel to a foreign country, although again, this is only free for a day, and there's also a 50% discount for a connected device plan, perfect for connecting up a tablet or hotspot device. Personally, I think 5G Play More is the better pick for 99% of situations, unless you find no value in streaming perks and absolutely require a free travel pass and or a discount on a connected device plan. Pretty unlikely scenario. But finally, we've got the big chungus of phone plans, 5G Get More. This is one of the most expensive plans you can get on a single line at a price that might make you pee your pants. $90 per month. But thankfully, you are getting a lot for that money. Finally, on their consumer plans, Verizon is offering unlimited priority data. Previously, with their legacy plans and both of their new $80 offerings, you got priority data ensuring faster speeds during network congestion. However, you only got a small amount of this stuff, and if you use it up, you were deprioritized until your next billing cycle. This is thankfully changing. You are now always prioritized, ensuring no slowdowns. And for a lot of people, this is key. If you live in a big city or just want to use your phone in a packed area, you'll likely experience network congestion. But having this always prioritized data can be a real lifesaver when you need fast speeds. And of course, being $90 per month includes all the perks and extras of both the 5G Play More and 5G Do More plans, along with some excellent features. You're getting the top level 5G ultra wideband and 5G nationwide network access, 50 gigs of mobile hotspot data, and once again, that 50% discount on a Verizon home internet plan. But once again, this is exorbitantly priced at $90 a month, and that's with auto pay. Without auto pay, it's $100 a month. That's insanely expensive. So. Are any of these plans worth it? Well, here's what I recommend. Since these are exorbitant prices for a single line of service, I recommend going with family plans. You can get together some of your relatives or friends or even start a family plan online and have multiple people all pay the same price under one account. That brings the cost per line for 5G Get More, their top option, to $55 a month per line for four lines or $50 a line for five or more people. At those prices, I think it's a great deal. But I'm also a little disappointed. When I heard Verizon was revamping their unlimited lineup, I was hopeful. After sticking with pretty underwhelming features and low priority data threats, thresholds, I thought they'd move on for the better. But Verizon is kind of slow to change while the industry rapidly picks up around them. This is not a company who wants to give their users more stuff or bring anything new, but that's okay. Because if you can get 5G get more in a family plan, then the value does become visible. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you're interested in up-to-date reports on changes that could come to your plan, subscribe and notifications on to never miss my next video. But with that, I'm Max, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.